There's no point in talking about Linux if I can't edit my videos and record in Linux. I would say the Windows counterpart would be Sony Vegas Pro, and that's saying a lot. Kaden Live. Hi, 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 hi. If you really want enlightenment, then just lighten up. Even though you're having some of the same realities, oh, they're, they're 
they're smaller, all right? The manifestations are much smaller and easier to deal with. And instead of weeks or months of intensity, you have hours, moments of intensity, and then uh, the ability, again, to align and center and process and in easy and lighthearted way. And this uh, is happening in part so you can have the perspective and understanding about the shift, all right? Because the only way for you to understand your progress and your growth is for you to repeat the same set of circumstances over and over and over again and view your behavior in the moment. And as you come back to the same place and alter your behavior, do things differently from the way you did that last time, you're able to see your growth. You're able to see your expansion, your ability to access more light, uh, the abundant truths of that reality. <laughs> oh, wow, that was a mouthful. Yes. And then stop. Uh, and you know, as each person is listening to this morning, they are uh, taking those pieces of information and they're kind of coordinating it, as it were, with particular events that may have taken place in their own life. And um, it's important that people do that so that they can see that maybe they need to change a perspective on how they were viewing the situations that have arisen in their life. Yes, absolutely. And you know, the thing I've been saying over and over this year is... The more I view everything that's going on as an opportunity for healing, shifting, transformation, and reascension first, and then simply my life second, the easier time I have with all of it, the more meaning everything holds for me, the less drama there is, the more quickly I move through the situation, but the less of difficulty I create for myself, and you know, all of those things that I'm afraid of, those darker seemingly darker outcomes that scare me, I don't bring it to reality because I am viewing this all as an opportunity to shift, clear, to heal, to transform, and that's where I let my attention go, as opposed to being attached to particular outcomes. You know, as soon as we hold the attachment to a particular outcome, especially that as we shift it, we begin to manifest that which we are most afraid of, almost immediately right now. As soon as we clear those attachments and link up with the truth that we are here to shift, transform, and be brighter beings of light, then everything falls into place so much more easily. Okay, do you know you? <laughs> you are going to process a lot of trauma uh, and clear a lot of trauma around taking care of yourself in a physical sense, all right? What that really means and how you can best not only take care of yourself, but take care of the collective, because that's something that changed in a big way in 2011 on your summer course you were re-linked off with the divine matrix and rejoined the collective consciousness, and now you're operating as a group. So it's not enough any longer to tend to your own needs. It's not enough any longer to simply tend to your own needs. Uh, it's time now for you all to take care of each other. And that's going to be made more and more abundantly clear as you progress into 2012. And for those of you who are more proactive in that area, uh, you have a willingness uh, and a sense of ease around caring for those around you uh, in real and practical ways as well as emotionally. Uh, the easier 2012 will be. For those of you who hold on to what you have and feel as if you barely got enough for yourself, uh, how could you possibly care for anyone else? Uh, the year's going to be difficult until you release and let go and remember that when you link up and desire to care for another, well, then your ability to be cared for by another increases as well. Take a breath on that. All right. And that seems to be the case for people who, um, across the board, they're, they're, it's just like the higher self so is more connected to everything else. And yeah, that, that just shares with us that, either, and, you know, there's different schools of thought on that. There's a higher vibration that you've stepped into or, you know, that the vibration of the planet itself has changed. It doesn't really matter how it's happening, it just is happening. Yes, and I think actually everything is true. I mean, yeah. there are as many realities as there are beings to interpret reality. So everything that is stated as truth is true. And this is where personal discernment and personal vibration becomes very important. You have to check in with yourself constantly now to discern whether that version of reality is true for you or not. Right. Exactly. Exactly. There is real information here and there's manipulated information as well, um, which you should always expect at this point in time uh, from your government and from the media. You've got to know at this point in time that everything you get in a mainstream way is manipulating everything. Uh, and it's up to you all now uh, to find the truth for yourself. And you have amazing access now and sources for uh, information that resonates more with your state of being. Look, your, your government, your media, they're just not yet uh, going to get on air and say, yeah, uh, there's a lot more to this universe than we'd like to know. They're just not going to do that yet. It's up to you all to do that, to be louder and louder about that truth yourselves, and to operate in the way you want to operate right now. All right, this is another big piece when it comes to reinvention. A lot of you are still waiting for someone outside of you to say, all right, ready, set, go. Now you can do it. It's okay for you now to be 
you the way you came here to be and to live the way you want to live. Right? That moment is never going to happen. you got to find that moment inside of all of you and move on it yourself. And many of you are. And it's beautiful to witness you all shedding your fears, your traumas, hold more light and live in a more loving and courageous way. Okay? Love that. Uh, I love that courageous statement out of all of that. Uh, because uh, that seems to be quite, it seems to be quite the theme these days around uh, the information that I share with others as well. It's about living your life courageously, and um, that's very, very, very uh, important for people to remember. It's like uh, when you put a, a stone in a, in a slingshot, yeah, you're like in a pullback, you know, where energetically you've got this big pullback going on, and soon you're going to find yourself releasing and how you're going to have huge forward movement. Uh, we want to speak for a moment on the opposite side movement. Uh, the African body movement itself uh, right now. Fabulous. We want to remind you, those of you who are listening, that when you designate a group as the 99% and you designate a group as the 1%, that simply creates disharmony, uh, more separation, uh, doesn't get you to where it is you want to go. Now, we're not saying the occupy movement is not serving a purpose. It's serving a tremendous purpose. And that group that's engaged, and some of you listening are engaged, you are there to magnify the truth that there is tremendous need for change on the planet. But the change is body that you collaborate 100%. It's got a lot of lower frequency, lower end needs right now. Uh, they're working through a lot of your police officers, and they're also working through some of the quote unquote protesters. Uh, so we just want to remind you of all of that. All right, well, wow. Yeah, I'm glad you spoke on that because uh, there's certainly still a lot of chatter on that. Legalmusicsearch.com